and hello everyone welcome back to another Lua tutorial so in the previous tutorial we talked about variables and data types in this tutorial we'll be talking about strings aka text anything in single or double quotes so as we've learned from previous tutorial local x is equal to str this is a string this will be taken as a piece of text and we can use it the same with single quotes str this is also a string this will also be taken up as a string and in last but not least these double brackets these are kind of like literal strings whatever you put in here will really be displayed so if i put a tab here this tab will be displayed if i were to print this and run it now, as you can see it literally takes those tabs and new lines so those are the three ways you'd usually be making a string let's continue to actually using a string so let's say we have a piece of text here hello world this is just a string normal string doesn't do anything to get the length of the string we can put a hashtag here and a hashtag in Lua basically means return the length of something. So if we go here, we'll get 11 because there's 11 characters in here. We could also put the hashtag here. This will also get us the length of the string because remember X here is just a placeholder for this string here. So this right here, that X is the same as me doing this. And of course, for concatenation, you can just say two dots and then what you want to add. Let's say an exclamation mark, and now there will be an exclamation mark. Let's say you maybe have a number, so local num is equal to 20. And you want to convert this number into a string, a piece of text, because there is a difference between numbers and strings. Well, to do that, it's fairly simple. Let's say local str is equal to to string, and this will convert this num to a string. Now if we print num and then also string. You won't really see any difference. Both of them will say 20. But if we print out the type of these, and we can do that by saying type, and then just like that. So now type and then the variable, and that will give you the type of this variable. If we were to run this, we'll get number and then string. So you'll see both of them have different types because one is now a string while the other is a number. Now with strings, you have the cool thing of escape characters. So here with print, we have a bunch of escape characters we can use. For example, hello, backslash n, Backslash in means a new line, so go to the next line. World. Backslash T, this means give it a tab, the same as saying a comma here and then putting something new there. But this is just in one string. I am. And then backslash V, take note, backslash V may not work on Windows. I have heard some comments say that when they use backslash V, they get like a symbol instead of a vertical tab a vertical tab is just when you tab down instead of tab left and i'll show you that in a second but backslash v gives you a vertical tab almost 19 two backslashes will give you a backslash and a backslash escapes a character so you'll need two backslashes to get one backslash and then here we can say 20 so it's kind of 19 slash 20 and now let's say I wanted to put double quotes in this string. There are two ways we can go about this. The first way is I can replace these double quotes with single quotes. And now I can use double quotes. Yours. This works perfectly fine. But sometimes that you cannot do that. Sometimes that will not solve your problem. In those cases, if you try and do this, you'll actually get an error. So to keep these back or these double quotes inside of your string, we can use 
a backslash, and these will escape the double quotes. And the same will be done for single quotes. So if you backslash a single quote, it will also be escaped. And these are just a few of them. There are a ton of these escape characters, but I'm not going to go through every single one of them. If we were to print this, we get hello, new line, because backslash in, world, then a tab, not a space. This is a space. This is a tab. Then we get a tab because backslash T, I am, and then a vertical tab. This might not work on Windows, but it just basically tabs down instead of left to right. Almost 19 backslash 20 years. And in our quotes. Take note, forward slashes are not the same as backslashes, so backslashes will need two, while a forward slash only needs one. Next up, let's say we have a local string and this string just contains hello world with an exclamation mark. Now if you print it, we'll get hello world. But there are a few things we can do with this string which is pretty cool. First off, we can say print and then we can go string and this will use the string functions we have inside of Lua. There's a lot, I'm not going to cover all of them, but I will be covering the ones you might like to use the most. Dot lower, and this will convert the string to lower case. And you say str here. You can do the same, and then for upper, so upper case, and then you also have one for ling, and this will get the length of a string. It's the same as if you were to say, instead of string the ling, you were to just go hashtag. Hashtag you can see as a shortened version of this. This will return the length of the string, this will convert the string to uppercase, and this will convert the string to lowercase. Let's see what we get. So we get our normal hello world, then a hello world that's just lowercase, a hello world in all caps, and in the length of this string. And that's the basics of string. There's a lot more we can do, but for now, that's all we need to know. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all again in the next Lua tutorial.